Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I wanted to have a real quick discussion talking about how to get your phone to output video and audio to an external HDMI TV or monitor. So we are going to accomplish that using a uh, little USB type C adapter. So if that sounds like fun, why don't we go ahead and open the bag and take a closer look at the adapter. Okay, so the adapter is pretty simple. I think I paid like $8 or something like that for this. And as you can see, it's just uh, a USB type C uh, connector on one end and then I'll just show you the back in case you're interested in learning more about it but uh, you know there's various different types of uh, connections on the other side of the adapter so let's just open up the ba the bag I guess this isn't even really an unboxing and this is probably the simplest unboxing I'll ever do because it's literally huh, that is it it's an adapter <laughs> so as you can see it's got USB type C on one side and obviously that's the side that is going to go into the USB C um, port of your phone and then on the other side of the adapter this is where it gets a little bit interesting there's multiple inputs so the one you're probably most interested in is this one in the center right so this is an HDMI output so hopefully we'll get audio and video coming out from the phone and then out through this HDMI port here now it's also got on this side you can see it also has a I believe this is a USB 3.0 port so theoretically the idea is we can connect um, a keyboard or a mouse or something like that if we want to control the phone now on the other side there's another female USB type C adapter here and again the idea with this now is hopefully we can hook up a uh, external charger like a USB type C charger to this port which will then run current through this to charge the phone at the same time so while we're watching movies or uh, having this all connected if, if this is all working we should be able to be watching video on the TV as well as charging the phone simultaneously and to boot maybe even controlling everything with a uh, external mouse or a keyboard so if that sounds like fun let's go ahead and uh, give this a try um, and get everything hooked up so, all right so step one is let's just go ahead and take the adapter and insert into the the USB type C on the bottom of the phone okay so there we go I'm gonna set this now off to the side and now what we're gonna to want to do is get in the HDMI cable from the TV right and plug it into the HDMI port of the adapter so let's give this a try and see how it works give this a second and oh wait uh, oh hey aha <laughs> And it totally worked. It uh, it's now outputting HDMI video uh, to the television. Uh, this is great. Um, now, right now, the the phone is always in uh, portrait mode, so I have to go to an app to get it in landscape mode because, as you can see right now, it just shows you in portrait mode right so it's kind of hard to see what's going on so let's uh, I don't know uh, here YouTube YouTube is a is a is it some kind of app uh, okay let's see if I can just yeah flip this now to the side hey look at that <laughs> isn't this cool so now um, it seems to be working uh, let's let's see if audio works Well, oh, yeah. thank you. Thanks. 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 There we go. Look at that. Now audio is working. Coming at audio and video is coming from the phone out to the to the television. This is pretty darn neat. It works seemingly uh, right out of the box. Now um, let, let's let's see how many other features we can jam into this thing. So notice, I don't know if you can see it up here, but the battery is not charging right now. So right now, yeah, 55%. It's not charging. What I'd like to do is now let's go ahead and grab. Here we go. I got a USB type C. This is just hooked up to the to a wall ward. This is just providing power, right? This is literally just usually what I would use to charge the phone. Now instead, obviously that USB type C port is taken up by the adapter, so I can't charge the phone right now. I guess you probably could do wireless inductive charging. In fact, if you're interested in that, I've got another video talking about wireless inductive charging of your cell phone. But let's see if now we can use the USB type C port on the back of the adapter here to basically supply power to the phone <laughs> while it's doing HDMI video at the same time. So we're gonna get a whole bunch of things going at once. So, all right, let's plug in the USB Type-C and we're gonna see if this actually starts charging. Let me let me drag this down so you can kind of see what's going on. Okay, here we go, I'm gonna plug in. Three, two, one, plug. Ha 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 ha, look at that! 
<laughs> it's charging. Oh, great. And now for some reason, it, it's it's trying to set up this stuff uh, with my Samsung phone so I could interact. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to get rid of this for now. Let me see if I can just go back to, to, to the normal phone. And look at that. We're charging. We're charging and outputting at the same time. This is great. Um, let, let's not stop. Let's get more and more greedy. There's still more open ports on the bottom of this adapter. Namely, there's this USB 3.0 adapter um, on the bottom. Why don't we see, can we plug in a mouse? A USB, I've got a wired here USB mouse. And now I want to see, can I control the phone using this mouse? So all we're going to do is just plug into the USB 3.0 port on the bottom of the adapter down here. Okay, ready? So here we go. Three, two, one, plug. Look at this, the mouse has got power. And now let me, look at this, I'm moving around the cursor. I don't know if you can see that on the screen, but right now I can, I can open apps, I can click around, I can move the, the cursor using, using the, the wired mouse. So this is pretty darn cool. Uh, let me make this in landscape mode so we can see a little bit better. There we go. Look at this. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Um, let's keep testing things. How about... How about a keyboard now, all right? Let's get a wired USB keyboard, and I'm gonna see, can I plug this keyboard now? I'm gonna have to unplug the mouse because I'm unfortunately taking up the ports. So take out the mouse, plug in the keyboard like that, okay? Now, I guess I have to use the phone to navigate by tapping or whatnot. Oops, hold on, I wanna get rid of this keyboard. The whole point of me typing, putting in a keyboard was to get rid of this thing. Ah, crud. How do I get rid of the keyboard? No, go away, keyboard. Oh, there we go. Okay, so let me let me tap somewhere in. Oh, it's gonna try to type in there. Um, let's do this. Uh, let's just start typing. I'm gonna tap up here. Okay, let me see if this is gonna work. Hello, world. Ah, oh, look at that. <laughs> this is pretty cool, right? I can now type um, using the keyboard. So the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. So it's much faster for inputting text uh, rather than having me type into the phone. I'm now using a full-on keyboard. Now, let's let's get to the height of, of greediness. Now, what I mean by that is right now, I, I'm either using the, the keyboard or the mouse, right? Because this adapter only has a single USB 3.0 port. Well, if I want to hook up multiple USB devices to the phone simultaneously, I'm gonna grab myself a USB hub. So I've got this old USB hub lying around. Um, now, uh, interestingly, this is actually a powered USB hub. So I actually have to uh, plug this guy into the wall. So let me plug him in right now. So, okay, this guy is now ready to rock. Let me disconnect the keyboard. So I'm gonna disconnect everything from the adapter right now, okay? So now let's plug in this USB hub to the adapter. Now, hopefully, theoretically, I've got seven USB ports connected to the phone, theoretically. Let's go ahead and give this a try. So I'm gonna grab the mouse, okay? Let's plug in the mouse here. Let's plug in the keyboard here, like that. And now, let's see if this Frankenstein contraption is working. Look at this, it's working. I am, I'm moving the mouse around, uh, or I'm, I'm moving the cursor on the, uh, the, the phone with the, uh, the mouse, and, oopsies, whoops. Well, I guess I was definitely working. Hold on, let me see if I can just start another, where was my thing? Oh, here, hello world. Here's the thing that we were working on. Uh, let me just use the keyboard. Yes! This is working. Look at that. So we've got the mouse, the keyboard, the phone driving all this. This is pretty darn cool, right? We've got everything working right now. So the, the phone is basically acting like my mini computer right now. I've got everything hooked up. Um, so yeah, this is, this is pretty darn great. It seems to be working very well. Um, let's do one other test, actually. I'm gonna take this whole setup. I eventually want this actually running in my van to drive a TV monitor, which doesn't have any audio, right? Right now, if you remember, this has audio connected. Right, so again, if we come back to, to YouTube and just play a video, oopsies, no. come on. 
make yourself to home. This there we go. Right? <laughs> really nice. So what do you guys think? Should we Everything is working. All right. Tour. Let's do it. So um, although I want to go and use it on a TV monitor, which maybe doesn't have audio, I might even have to get even greedier and connect the phone to an external speaker via Bluetooth. So let's see if we can get this entire rig set up in my van, and that'll pretty much have all of the bells and whistles uh, at that point. All right. So here we are inside my van, and this is actually the configuration that I want to use this for. I want to be able to put my phone and videos from the phone up on that screen in the van. So um, let's just go ahead and give this a whirl again. So let's go ahead and, uh, yep, here is our connector. I'm just going to go ahead and connect it to the phone. Again, I'm going to try to do this one-handed. It's not the easiest thing in the world. Sorry about the that. Okay, there we go. Um, okay, so now let's see. The next thing we're going to want to do is get the HDMI cable from the monitor. So I've got that here in my ceiling of the van. Let me just pull the, the cable down. Okay, and let's just go ahead and connect the cable to the adapter. And again, I apologize. This is hard to do with one hand holding the camera and one hand on that. There we go. Okay, let's see what happens here. Yep, okay, the phone says HDMI connected and Yay, look at that! <laughs> We've got it up here. Now, the only issue is um, there is no sound uh, via this HDMI cable. So, um, this is just video only. So, unlike the demo we just saw where the HDMI was carrying video and audio, right now it's only carrying video. So, I need to get the audio out. So, the audio I want to actually send out to this Bluetooth speaker. So, let me go ahead and turn on the Bluetooth speaker. I'll give it a second. Is it turning on? Let me try that again. Push and hold. Ah, oh, there it goes. Push and hold. And then let's see if the phone connects. Aha, the phone connected. You hear the little beep? Okay, that's sounding good. Oh, yep, the audio. Okay, this is awesome. I think it's working. Let's go ahead and uh, get super greedy. Let's also see if we can charge the phone again at the same time. So uh, I'll grab myself a charging cable from, from my van's battery. And again, we are going to hook it up one-handed to the adapter USB-C input. So let's give this a try. There we go. And let's see what it thinks about. Oop, charging! Ha ha ha, look at that! Oh, great. Now it's going to sit here and it's going to give me this other warning. It's going to try to set up this Samsung DeX thing, but that's not what I want. I just want the normal phone. Okay. And again, looks like everything is working. Let's just go ahead and uh, I'll just play one of my videos on my phone. Let's just see how this is going to work. Okay. Play. Let me get this in landscape mode. Look at this. It's working. We got the video there and... Look at this. Um, Audio is coming out of the speaker. Let me let me crank it up on the phone. <laughs> it's super duper fun. Just come out here, just grab. It's hard not to get frenzied and just want to. This is awesome. Grab all the apples. See? Pears that you possibly look at that. Can. We got but, audio uh, coming out of the speaker. Like I, said, I guess we're gonna see. And we've got video coming out of the um, screen. How much we end up picking. So. Check this out. See. Yeah, I think this is a win. So this whole setup is totally working. So I've got basically the phone outputting video via HDMI to the front monitor here in the van. And I've also got the phone outputting audio via Bluetooth to this Bluetooth speaker. And finally, I've got power charging the phone. And again, everything is working through this little adapter. So for a couple of bucks, this is working great. Tell you what, I'm so excited about this. Let's go see if we can get a, a similar adapter for maybe like uh, my wife's iPhone. All right, so again, very similar idea, very similar type of adapter, but only now instead of for an Android with USB Type-C, let's get it with an iPhone, which is using a, uh, a lightning connector. So, uh, okay, here's the, the, the unit. It's nothing, again, nothing fancy. I just paid a couple of bucks for this on eBay. Um, and again, as we can see, it takes basically from iPhone to the adapter, and then you can theoretically charge via uh, another lightning adapter and then send signals to the TV via um, HDMI. So let's give that a try. So, uh, okay, opening this thing up, nothing super, again, yep, super duper simple. That is the most boring unboxing ever. There's a little set of instructions, but again, I think it's probably pretty hard to plug this in incorrectly. <laughs> so, um, okay, let's get this little adapter out. Uh, okay, again, we've got a little bit of that, that plastic covering. 
to kind of keep everything nice so we can get that gone. Let me take that off. Okay, okay, so pretty, hopefully this isn't idiot proof, because <laughs> I need that. Uh, okay, so let's try this, let's plug this in to the iPhone on the bottom via the lightning port. I'll go ahead and unlock the phone. And now let's try the, uh, let's try the HDMI. So connect, like such, and let's see if the phone recognizes it. Okay, so I'm significantly less impressed with this iPhone adapter, and maybe this is the problem with Apple stuff. Um, well, uh, first off, it doesn't recognize it when you just plug in the HDMI. Uh, you have to take the lightning cable and plug it into charge, and now when it does this, okay. There it goes. It takes a little while before it recognizes it. And I don't know why it wants me to trust this computer. I literally plugged it into a power cable. So that's kind of the first thing that I'm uh, not so great about is the, the iPhone wants me to trust some kind of computer. And then look at this. It puts this QR code on the screen. And I read a little bit more of the instructions with this thing. And I don't know if you can see this, but they want you to go ahead, scan this QR code, go to some website, get an installer basically on your iPhone run this this executable uh, go into uh, firmware update mode uh, and then update it and again I I don't think I trust this this thing doesn't look super great furthermore if this is something like like a work phone or something like that maybe that you don't have the ability to install additional apps let alone extra firmware um, this is kind of a deal breaker so I think this is a big fat fail so this iPhone version of the HDMI adapter is 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 a no-go for us so maybe it's different for you but for me um, I think I just wasted a bunch of money well I guess not a bunch a couple of bucks on eBay <laughs> right but at least I think we all learned something um, today so don't get this cheap uh, Chinese knockoff version of the uh, HDMI adapter for your iPhone because you might run into these types of issues um, all right but uh, with that being said the one for the Android device right we saw that thing work seamlessly so if you've got yourself an Android device with a USB-C type output that worked flawlessly out of the box and is able to get HDMI um, video and audio out to your TV TV or to Bluetooth speakers or kind of any other kind of configuration while simultaneously charging. So that was actually pretty darn nice. So, uh, all right. With that being said, I think this is probably a great spot to leave it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if so, I also hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, surprisingly, if you just scroll a little ways down and click on that subscribe button, it really does help me continue making these videos. And the new videos come out every Monday. So I hope you'll join me at one of these future discussions and we can all learn something new together. So until I talk to you again, I think I'm going to sign off for now. Talk to you later. Bye.